Welcome to Bluestone National Park Resort in Pembrokeshire, Wales. We had decided to come back to Bluestone and their Christmas land event after having such an amazing time last year. And in this video I'll show you what's happening there during the festive season. But first things first. And after you've booked your stay here, the next most important thing is to book a buggy. Bluestone is spread over 500 acres, so you're going to need something to get you about. However, if you're more adventurous, they have different types of bikes you can also hire. Once I'd got the buggy, it was then time to head out and explore the site. As you can see, West Wales is a beautiful part of the world. The scenery is simply stunning. And for most people who stay at Bluestone, this is the type of accommodation that they'll be choosing. Lovely cabins and nestled here in the woods. But for smaller parties, there's other accommodation closer to the village. On this trip, we decided to have a Skoma Lodge, which is suitable accommodation for six people. As you enter the lodge, there's a dining table, six chairs, and a high chair. <laughs> the kitchen itself is a great size with toaster, kettle and plenty of workspace. As you can see there's a great side-by-side -side fridge and fridge freezer, a sink, a microwave and an oven and a hob. And of course there's the essential dishwasher. In the living room area, there are two large sofas and a table. However, the sparkling wine, beer and baby are extra. And there's a table outside which would be ideal during the summer months. Also on the ground floor is a large family bathroom and a huge shower. And there's also the first of the bedrooms, this one's a twin bed. Moving upstairs, there's another twin bed, but this one has an ensuite too. This also has a large wardrobe and a table. Ensuite itself was a good size with a decent sized shower. The final bedroom has a king size bed. It also comes with an ensuite. After unpacking, it was time to get back into our buggy and then head into the village itself. And fitting in with the theme, the village has been decorated and turned into Reindeer Village. One of the most popular places here is Newton Village Stores. This will have you covered for anything you may have forgotten to bring. There's a wide selection of food and drink to be had here. This is essentially a village co-op. And one thing I would highly recommend is these locally produced pasties. Especially the steak and ale and Christmas varieties. As you can see, they pretty much have everything that you would require for your stay. There's also a wide selection of adult beverages too. And the prices weren't too bad. If you'd like to buy some merchandise, there's plenty on offer at the Emporium. There are lots of souvenirs to celebrate your stay in Wales. There's a wide selection of toys for the children and lots of Christmas items.
The village contains three restaurants, a coffee shop and a play area for the kids. We decided to head into the farmhouse grill to get some food. As you can see, it's also decked out for the festive season. I decided to choose the roast chicken and with a little bit of extra beef. Absolutely delicious. At five o'clock each evening, the elves wake up Rudolph. He returns our lead to turn on the Christmas lights. It's a funny thing. Whenever my nose shines bright, it does something rather strange to all the lights here in my village. is one of three activity domes here at Bluestone. And within here is a huge soft play area to keep the kids happy. And here is a wide selection of climbing frame, bouncy castles and slides for the children. Don't forget to take off their shoes. While the kids are burning off steam in the soft play, you can go and get some refreshments in the NRG Cafe, which has plenty of options for breakfast and lunch. There's also a bar and a wide selection of cakes. And one of the things I really thought was a lot of fun was this. The adrenaline zip line that's suspended from the roof of the hive. For an additional charge, you can enter Tinker's Toy Lab and then meet Santa himself. Another activity that you can pay for is bowling. Which is also here at the Hive Dome. A lady is £20 for half hour. The second of the domes is the Blue Lagoon Water Park. Which has indoor and outdoor slides. Which is transformed into Elf Lagoon at this time of year. Elves and Christmas music, however, I decided not to record in here for obvious reasons. Next door is the tournament field, which has been relocated due to further development at the site. And this is where the archery and axe throwing takes place. Third and final dome is the Seren Dome, which is transformed into the snow globe for the festive season. And here is this impressive climbing structure for older children. They've included a mini Christmas market. You can get some crepes, drinks and waffles. Looks like Santa's lost his sleigh. Down on this side of the dome is a play area with swings and slides. Water based activities too. To the side of the theatre there are some food huts with some varying options. There's pizza, fish and chips, One for some themed soup, sandwiches and wraps for Christmas. 
I went for the mezzaluna bread and it was really nice. I may have overdone it with the cranberry sauce though. I think the theme in here is really great. It just reminds me of how Christmas used to be. The younger children really enjoyed the snowstorm spectacle. And the highlight for many people visiting Bluestone during Christmas Land is the Jingles Christmas Show. Which this year is a panto loosely based on the story of Pinocchio. It's a shop where I keep some of the most amazing toys ever made. this video please give a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe